The 50s provide us with one third of our greatest round, the decade that began in dramatic fashion. I thank you for being with us on our very first two days show. Joe DiMaggio and Marilyn Monroe's brief marriage made headlines. While in Memphis, the king was born named Elvis Presley. I like Ike became the slogan. And cruising with the top down. And the hula hoop with the order of the day. It was Valentine's Day, the 14th of February, 1951. At Chicago Stadium, middleweight champion Jake LaMotta and Sugar Ray Robinson did their best to reenact the St. Valentine's Day Massacre as they met for the sixth time. This series set a record for brutal confrontations with Robinson winning four times and LaMotta once. By round 13, Jake LaMotta had absorbed a savage beating, but he would not go down, would not give Sugar Ray the satisfaction of knocking him off his feet. There's a very bad swollen spot now under the left eye of Jake LaMotta. Robinson with a long overhand right, and he nails LaMotta coming in. And then Jake grabs him, and his knees say, but his game to the core is the Bronx Bull, a middleweight champion of the world, at least until uh, this one is over. Here are two, three, four, five left hands on the nose. LaMotta cannot get his hands up. Robinson with his left hand into the head and a right hand into the midsection. And Jake LaMotta runs into a left hook as thrown by Sugar Ray. LaMotta potting in. Runs into a left hand thrown on the forehead. Robinson with a right hand thrown down to the midsection. Only one minute is gone here in round 13. Robinson looking for an opening. Comes in and scores with a terrific right uppercut and two left hooks to the chin misses the right uppercut then uh, LaMotta just lurches back against the ropes and stands there and Robbie goes to him and crashes him in the nose with his left and his right his right hand right down on the cheekbone and Jake appears powerless to defend himself and the swollen spot on his left cheek has opened up and is spilling crimson down his face Robinson with a straight overhand right with a minute and a half left to go in uh, round 13 LaMotta trying to hold on some of the crowd yelling stop it but you don't do that to a champion he has to go out fighting LaMotta misses the left hook thrown for the head of Sugar Ray. Ray with two left hands on that swollen left eye of Jake. Another left hand. Then Jake is able to move away from the right hand. And then he falls as they fall back to the ropes, but does not go down. And Robinson tags him with a straight right hand on the forehead. And LaMotta seems close to come away from the rope. But he does come out. And Robinson hits him with a powerful right hand. And left up the cut. A right cross. And LaMotta holds on. And they're going to stop it. Ray Robinson is the new champion of the world. What happens when you reach third, fourth, fifth time? It's so unusual to see two boxers go that often. Well, you get to the point where you know each other so well, so it can't be nothing but a tough fight. Sometimes it can be a boring fight. Sometimes the fights uh, like that get to the point where they're lousy fights because the guys know each other. But in uh, Robinson's and, and uh, Lamotta's case, it couldn't be a lousy fight because the, uh, the styles complement each other. Uh, Lamotta was going to be coming and coming and coming and coming and throwing punches. And Ray couldn't do nothing but fight back. So this, but if you had two guys that were real slick, then it would have been a very lousy fight. You know, two guys get to know each other. You know, then you see a lousy fight. But this one, they complemented each other because of their opposite styles. All right, gentlemen, Sugar Ray Robinson figured in another of our greatest rounds. Uh, this time, it is a rematch 